Getting treated like shit in the beauty industry is nothing new. Beauty is only skin deep at the end of the day. And what's worse than not getting invited to BeautyCon? Getting invited apparently. If you're watching this and you didn't get a god bespoken invite to BeautyCon this year, consider yourself extremely lucky. So if you haven't already heard, beauty gurus are having a big meltdown left, right and centre for not getting invited and not getting treated fairly at this BeautyCon event. Two beauty gurus have recently called out their awful experience with BeautyCon this year. Thomas Albert had tweeted hashtag beautycon and had retweeted a screenshotted message that was sent to him. His fan had said beautycon told me in the DMs that he wouldn't be there. I'm sorry they did you like that Thomas. Many of us reached out to them letting them know we found EP's actions to be reprehensible and he shouldn't be featured at the con. She had said you can find the video I'm referencing here. Beautycon replied hi Jess thank you for reaching out. We're looking into this and we will come to a decision after the long weekend. I'm so happy to hear that you're looking into it. Thank you so much. Is there any update to this. Hi Jess, hope you're well. Ethan will no longer be attending this year's festival. Kind regards, K. Thomas had tweeted, coming back to YouTube tomorrow with a serious video. I'm not in a good place mentally and if I don't seek help soon I'm worried about what I will do. Tomorrow's video is needed and we'll put it all out into perspective for you all. I'm not being consistent on YouTube because of laziness. I'm being inconsistent because I genuinely am so depressed to the point I can't barely get out of bed sometimes. I genuinely feel like a failure and I can't get out of my head. I truly feel like a waste of space in this world like I have no place anymore. I'm trying to be strong. I am. The beauty con thing only made me feel worse about myself not gonna lie. My boyfriend is with me taking care of me so don't worry. Hi beauty con is there a reason you told me on the phone that I had to apologize to the person who made fun of my eating disorder otherwise him and I won't be able to attend? Yet he's still at your event and I was told I can't attend because I didn't apologize and neither did he. Somebody had tweeted Thomas saying to be honest Thomas Halbert is just as bad as that Ethan kid. Beauty boys are annoying and toxic. Thomas had replied no I'm not. Somebody else had tweeted a lot of beauty boys are actually really nice and genuine people. This includes Thomas. He and many others work their asses off to create content but y'all just give the wrong people attention and that's on that. Thomas had replied it's really weird. Beauty boys are just as bad as hiding their toxicity but it's a mixed bag with who's good and who's not just like the female beauty bloggers. The ones you wouldn't expect are evil as if but you wouldn't know because they hide it better. Gay men are loud and wrong a lot. Mikey Loves, a makeup artist, had tweeted in light of recent events regarding the way beauty Con has treated its influencers and namely Thomas Beauty. I will no longer be supporting them in any way. I will not attend future events and I have unfollowed them on social media. A fan had tweeted to the influencer. What the actual F? He can't even say your effing name. No respect from this kid. I'm so angry for you. Now Thomas had also retweeted a clip of Ethan apologizing to him for making fun of his eating disorder and Thomas did not accept Ethan's apology. Hey guys, so I usually never do this, but this is a serious situation and I feel like I owe it to a lot of people to talk about this real fast. So if you don't care about petty internet drama, then you can just keep on scrolling. But basically, around seven months ago, I was led to believe that this influencer was faking his, his eating disorder for views. And I realized this is not my journey. This is not my place. This is not my input. This is not where I need to be. Like that I should not have said that. It was very ignorant. But it was coming from a place of I thought he was doing this and I thought that was a fucked up thing to do. I've lived my whole life online since I was 11. So I'm, I've am i made mistakes online. I'm going to keep making mistakes online. I'm human, but I take full accountability for everything I said. Um, it was fucked up. But to you, the influencer, I would really like to say I am sorry for how my words have affected you. That was not my intention. I'm sorry that it has to come to this right now online, but I've tried to reach out to you through DM and stuff and in a non-public way. And I would really like to so I can hear more of like how you're thinking about it and how you're feeling and then we can maybe discuss this and like emote our emotions and, and get through this together, you know, in some way. But um, I hope it's all peace and love with your journey of what you're going through and everything. Um, again, I really do apologize and to anyone else out there, I apologize for what I have said. But the reason I am bringing this up is because this influencer went on a Twitter tirade at BeautyCon for allowing me to go. He, a month earlier, he also tweeted about BeautyCon being mad that I was allowed to go. And so I called BeautyCon and was like, hey, I've apologized for this. I've tried to DM him, email him, everything on many different accounts. I don't really have a way of apologizing to him, but I would love to do so. And he refused to do so and got very mad that I attended. And so I just want to say I'm sorry to anybody involved in this. Um, I'm sorry to BeautyCon. Um, I didn't really mean to get your company involved. I didn't tag your company and I'm so sorry for that. Thank you so much for the support that you guys have shown me. I've had a great time at your event. But um, yeah, and real quick, I want to say um, I'm sorry to anybody who has suffered with that, who is 
offended by what I said. I really, truly, truly was not making fun of the eating disorder as well as like, I've had my own personal like, me like situations with that and a lot of people. Thomas had retweeted Cole's World who had said, I'm not trying to be problematic or messy. I struggled with anorexia for six months and became very ill. Luckily, I'm one of the very few people to overcome it. Making fun of an eating disorder is something I take very seriously, especially when an apology has never been said. I'd never wish hate on anyone, but again, this is something that hurts me just hearing the awful things being said. I can only imagine how Thomas felt. Thomas is the victim in this situation and he deserves an apology from not only the person that said it, but also BeautyCon. What are your thoughts on Thomas not getting invited? Let me know in the comments. In other news, a beauty guru called Sierra Schultze, who had been invited to BeautyCon and had actually filmed herself getting treated poorly, while well, she had vlogged her whole experience and put it up on her channel. She had recently taken to her Instagram to further talk about what had happened at the event. First of all, she had posted a screenshot of her pinned comment on her YouTube video. Her top comment on her video had said, the hardest part about re-watching this footage is the progression of it all. Skylar and I went into the day so excited and happy and were feeling our absolute best. We tried to give BeautyCon the benefit of the doubt with the first few hiccups tried to brush it off and have our own fun, but by the end of the day we left feeling insecure and humiliated. I hope BeautyCon can learn from this and do better for other creators, but I won't be back to see for myself. Sierra had also posted, I went to BeautyCon to meet my viewers, to connect with brands, and to do press as I was invited as a featured creator, talent by BeautyCon. I posted about their event as their team asked me to, and drove ticket sales for them. I was not paid for this, only compensation was being given to the talent wristband. I took time off from my work and filming, paid for my own transportation and hotel, I invested my time and money only to be treated like trash and leave feeling absolutely crushed and humiliated. Last year at BeautyCon, when I felt similarly, I thought it was because I'd had a smaller channel, around 250k subscribers at the time, was alone and wasn't dressed up like everyone else. This year my channel is almost at a million subscribers, my content and my community has grown so much, I came dressed to the nines, all glammed up, with my producer Skylar at my side. I was excited to go on confident and felt like I truly deserved to be there this year, and was actually treated worse. And as far as the red carpet and the press ignoring me, it had nothing to do with my channel, not being big enough for these outlets, and everything to do with me not looking the part. I talked to two creators, walking shortly before and after me who had around 10 to 20k followers, but had the influencer look, and were given so much attention on the press carpet, photos, interviews, the works, and same with the photo area. I don't want to assume it's because of my body, and the fact that I'm not a thin woman, but based around everything I could gather from from the situation happening around me, that's the conclusion I'm currently at. It wasn't about my wristband colour or access level, it wasn't about my outfit or my makeup, then what? What else was it? Also, the two photos that were taken of me on the carpet were never posted anywhere, although the people who walked before and after me are on the Getty Images website. They just didn't post mine. It's not about who I am or what I do, it was a quick two second judgement on how I look to deem if I'm worthy or not, and that's what hurts. I've been having a really hard time processing everything that happened at BeautyCon, the the more I think about it, the more angry I get that all this came from a company who espouses inclusivity all over their marketing. I feel really proud of who I am and the content I create. I feel proud to be showing a different idea of beauty on my channel and making content that I am truly so proud of with a message I am passionate about. Sometimes I forget how important it is though, the message I'm spreading and the content I'm creating. So I guess I have to say thank you BeautyCon for reminding me how much work still needs to be done. Let's get to work. Now you're all probably wondering what has BeautyCon done after after these horror stories were brought to light, well, they have done nothing. No apology. Oh, it wasn't us, it's the company who treated you like shit, just our employees. Therefore, I have nothing to apologize for. Okay, BeautyCon. In other news, my life is Ava recently took to her Instagram story to talk about why she hasn't been posting to YouTube lately. She had said, so I just wanted to address the fact that it's been like one month and a half since I uploaded to YouTube. Long story short, I was shooting and producing How to Survive a Breakup, and any time I shoot, I've just realized it's necessary for me to take a break from videos, just purely for the sake of my mental health and not being overwhelmed. But then as soon as the show ended, I had a huge family emergency. I didn't publicly talk about it, but my mum got scary sick and was diagnosed with heart failure. So I was in and out of hospital for a while, dealing with a lot of stress. The whole Gutowski family was. I just couldn't think about filming videos until I knew she'd be okay. I thought about making a video explaining what happened, but as of now, it's still too real and fresh, so I'm just dealing with it personally. 
but I ask you, if you have time to send some positive love to my mum, Erica Gutowski, a lot of lifestyle changes are happening, so I'm sure she'd appreciate the support. I also wanted to say thank you for continually brightening my day over on Instagram, while I literally left you guys in the dark on TY with no explanation for over a month. I know it looked like I was travelling, etc, which I was, but I honestly didn't know how to tell you guys what was really going on. So with that being said, I love you guys, and I finally got the courage to start editing the video I filmed the week my mum got sick and never ended up posting it. I'm going to get it up this week. I hope at the very least that this can be another reminder that there's always more happening behind the scenes than what you see on social media. Be kind because you never know what someone is going through behind their actions. Thank you to all my friends that helped me get through this last month. If it wasn't for you, I don't know what I'd do. That's all for this investigation. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. My social media will be linked down below and I'll see you guys in our next investigation. Oh, 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 oh,